Hey time travelers, I got my cryptocurrency computer back up and running again because the value of the Ethereum went back up. And this is a video about me messing around with it, trying to do stuff with it. I actually do this for my health and my sanity. I am in no way an expert in investing, but this is an investment for me. It's about making something that I hope will have more value in the future, like when I retire or something, or to have a little bit of money tucked away on the side. That's what that's about. If you're curious, I built the machine in 2017 and it's got a bunch of old cards in it. But enough rabble rabble, let's get into the video. I've got this old DTX 960, which is probably not worth mining with because it's old and it's underpowered. Here, check it out. It's pretty. It's what I put in my computer back when I built it in 2015. I wonder what would happen if I put it in my miner right now. Put that over there. Turn on monitor! Stupid cheap monitor that someone gave me as payment for building their computer. Turn on! Turn the freak on! You just have to push it stupid hard. Alright. 30, 23.6. That's pretty good stats for my RTX 580 and a bunch of DTX 1060s. But they all have six gigs of memory, and this one has eight. This thing only has four gigs of memory, and the, the thingy, what's it called, the DAG, is over four gigs. I just want to test this to see how badly it's going to fail. First thing you need is to cut the power. All power supplies. It's freaking snowing again! Snow, you are evil. Go away. You are not wanted. Shoot. Freaking have to work on my cousin's laptop. Cousin? Needs his laptop. And don't want to have to freaking plow the freaking driveway. Freaking. Mm. Mm. Tear. USB both ends. This goes on the motherboard. Right in the there. Then the OSB cable, to put it the right way. This is the actual riser thingy, what's it? And it goes like this. Why are you... I turned it off! Why are they coming zones? Off! All right, they're both for sure off now. Don't want to break my stuff. Power supply box! Gotta bend over. Ow. Yeah. Need a cable. Oh, what am I doing? I already have a... There's already a thing. There's already a thing. Derp. Derpy derpy. Derpy derpy. Plug the thing in the other thing. And then this thing into that thing. Yeah. Get the screw out. That's for holding down the stuffs. Put this beefy looking thing in there somehow. Ow! Beef Kirk! Can it does it? Put the screw back in there. I think I have to screw this in left handed. Make sure you screw with confidence. So awkward. I'm not left handed. All right, one more thing. Wonder if you can see it. I need a plug for there for power. Hmm. Hmm. Got one right here. Maybe it will let me use it. Maybe it will work. Ow! Ah, that spot where I hurt my hand on my car. And actually, I think I need one more thing. Do I have a fan? Do I have any fans? Box of parts, no fan. Leaves. I have a stack of four fans that I crammed together for some reason, for something a while back. <sighs> Regrets. Now how would I do this? How would I do this team? One, I need a, something to wire it up with and somewhere to place the, that's, that, that works, and just set there. Plug it in, plug it in. Got a fan splitter. Sweet. See? Focus! My gosh! 
Fan splitter thingy, what's it? Unplug. I'm sorry, you guys can't see what I'm doing. Neither can I. I've just done this a bunch of times with different computers I've built. Turn on secondary power supply. Where's the button? There's the button. Switch, toggle switch. Turn on primary power supply. Switch. Automatically turns itself on because of science that I had to configure. Is that monitor still on? Cause I'm gonna punch that power button. It's blinking. Move the cord over to another thing. Try it. Ugh. Ugh, scared me. My hoodie tassel. Any output from that card? No signal, but it has power. I plug it into the only card with spinny fans. No signal. Is it pingable? No, it's not pingable. Power to that thingy. What's it? Hey, we're starting to mine here. Get to see if this thing mines at all. Well, it detects it. It's DTX 960, but it's got the yellow triangle thingy. Open GeForce experience. I'm having a bad experience. I want GeForce now. Geek reference. Loading. That loading bar was a web of lies. Now an infinite loading. What the heck? Nvidia installer came up. And no, the exposure is not set crazy on my phone for recording this. It's weird, it's white, gray words say NVIDIA experience version, whatever the number. We promise to protect your privacy and your data. No, you're not gonna be found. And no, maybe there's a button here? Is that a button? It was a button, it was a secret hidden button. Sweet! Now fix it. Fix it! Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd the thingy, what's it go? Well, it looks like it wants to load it now. There's the EULA. It was the same message. We promise stuff and things. It locked up. Seriously, it's seriously locked up. I can't move the mouse or anything. Well, GeForce Experience failed to install the driver for the 960, so I downloaded the driver from the website. And I ran that. Oh, it came back on. So uh, I went in the other room. I put glasses on. The same person. Drivers from 2018, okay. What about my GTX 1060s? <laughs> Driver is also from 2018. If this breaks it so I can't mine with my 1060s, then screw it, take it off. Oh, there it goes. It's mining with one, two, three, four, five cards. I can't see anything. Yeah, that's only doing the 1060s. What about Nano Miner? I heard about Nano Miner. Let's see what Nano Miner does. It's like, Nano Miner stuff. And it says, your version is insufficient for our CUDA runtime version. Please try updating the NVIDIA driver. Oh my God. All right, new drivers. Go back to the new drivers, see what happens. This is for my health too. This is yoga. Installing drivers for graphics cards of this quantity. When you have this many graphics cards plugged in, it takes ages and ages and ages and ages. The progress bar is moving so slowly. Like, check it out. Let's put my fingernail right there. I know what we can do is use tape. This is the tape I used the other night to put a Lego on my finger to make a stint so I wouldn't bend my finger while I was sleeping. I put some tape right here. Now I could check it in a few minutes to see if it's moving at all. Stupid slow progress bar. 
into a squat pose. Yeah. All right, it hasn't moved. Crash the system. Burp. Clean and restart. Click. Magic sauce. It's magic sauce. I call this one the eagle pose. It's so hard to do. And you have to move your junk. Ah. Oh, it's downloading, so I have the latest and greatest, just in case. You know, I got to move the junk and eagle pose the other side. No. Now I'm curious what's going to happen if I run my things. It detects it right there. Uh, out of memory. So this one can't do it. That's what I was worried about earlier because it's only got four gigs of, of RAM in that card. All right, Nano Miner, let's give you a go at it. What you does? Nano Miner! ASCII art brought to you in the color yellow. Okay. It doesn't say everything is a fail this time. Detected it right there, 960. Also out of memory. I'm done messing with this. I guess I'll sell it to somebody who just needs a really old graphics card. They're not mining. It would be great for some games. People know what they're buying and they buy cheap if they don't need hardcore gaming, whatever. Well, I've actually already sold that graphics card. I put it on eBay and the next day it sold because graphics cards are really hard to get a hold of these days. I also bought a GTX 1080 Ti, and I'll make a video on it if you guys are interested and in seeing all the complicated nonsense I have to go through in order to get a graphics card added to a mining machine. Honestly, once you get a bunch of cards set up, you just leave it alone and don't mess with it. But as soon as you add a different model, ugh, ugh, it's a pain in the fucking butt. Well, thanks for watching. Drop a like on the video. It'll really help out the channel. Why don't you stick around and watch more of my videos? Watch something sci-fi. This is a good one because I've got a sequel to it coming out real soon. And here's another good one, whatever YouTube thinks is best. You can at me over here or subscribe to my channel over here. Or check out my music channel right there. Thanks for watching. Bye.